Hi guys, today we have a simple hair bow tutorial. This is so easy, yet it makes such a gorgeous shape and it only uses two pieces of ribbon at 19 centimeters. So not much ribbon at all to get this gorgeous shape. This one I made using plain ribbon, obviously, and this one we've got this patterned ribbon. It's got like a foil print on one side and it's plain on the other. And I just wanted to show you what it looked like if you used a pattern ribbon, because there are different options you can do with this bow. So this is the plain one. I'm just going to set this one aside for now. So this ribbon here I got from Twinkle Tail. I will link everything that I've used in the description below this video. And this ribbon, is a one and a half inch wide or just under four centimeters wide but you can use either 38 or 40 millimeter wide ribbon it won't make much difference and our two pieces like i said are both cut to just 19 centimeters in length or seven and a half inches in length and that is two pieces i've got a couple of pins here and I've also got a lighter. First of all, you need to heat seal all of the ends of your ribbon and this will take away any frayed pieces and also prevent any further fraying. Next, I'm going to flip my two pieces upside down. So my pattern is now facing the bottom. Now, if you're using a pattern which requires to be a certain way up, like mine, as you can see, can go either way. You want the pattern to be upside down. So if this was a pattern that needed to be a certain way up, my bottom of my pattern will be at the top. So it's facing upside down. And also the pattern on this side is upside down. That way, when you make the bow, the pattern will be facing this way so the correct way up the bottom of the pattern will be here and this will be the top of the pattern so they're both kind of facing in towards the bow which is how I would prefer to have it if I was using a particular pattern because with this style bow you can't actually get the pattern to be like the bottom here the top here it won't work with this style bow so the bottom of the pattern will be here and the top will be here so they're facing in towards the center because that's how I think it looks better if you did have a pattern in that way. Next, we're going to mark in from the right hand side, nine centimeters or just over three and a half inches. And I'm just going to pop a pin in there at that point. The same with the other piece, so nine centimeters, just over three and a half inches, and pop a pin in there at that point. Just straighten this one up, so there's a little bit on the wonk. That's better. So we've got nine centimeters now on this side, and 10 centimeters on this side. Taking our first piece of ribbon with the nine centimeters still on the right, we're going to fold this side down diagonally in line with the pin. So it's nice and straight along that pin. And then we're going to fold this piece inwards, making sure that the pin is now on the outside and this straight edge is in line with this straight bottom piece here, like that. And then this little piece sticking down here, you're going to fold that back and line it up across the top there. And then I'm just going to grab a hair clip and just pop that on there and that will just hold that in place. And then to work on this side, because I'm right handed, I like to now flip this over, bringing this tail end now, folding it in. It don't matter how far, just fold it in because what we're going to do is bring this corner down diagonally. So I'll just show you that again. Just fold this side in, bringing this corner down diagonally so that it lines up across this bottom here. 
and then I'm just sliding it over so it's in line with the fold. So it looks like this. And this should automatically leave a two centimeter gap from that corner. So as you can see, this point is two centimeters from this edge, which is how it should be. I'm just going to take this pin out now because the clip is holding it in place there. And I'm just going to clip this side to hold that in place. So that is one side complete and what it should look like. And now we're going to do those exact steps with our other piece. So this side is the nine centimeters. Fold it down diagonally. Fold it inwards, lining up that straight bottom edge. Bring this tail end up and meet the raw edge in line with the top there. Grab a clip to hold that in place. Flip it over so I can do the other side. Fold this side in, bringing this corner down diagonally. Lining it up neatly along the bottom and then just sliding it out so this edge meets with the fold. And then just checking that we have a two centimetre gap between this point and the end, like that. And once you're happy with that, use this pin to hold that edge in place. So we've got our two pieces now identical with the little pattern poking out the side. Like I said, if you're using a particular pattern, the bottom of your pattern will be this side and the top of the pattern will be this side. And we're ready now to sew in our pinch along this bottom where the raw edges are. So I've got a needle here and I've threaded it with some strong thread and I've popped a knot in the end. I like to sew from right to left because I'm right handed. So starting off on this corner here, I'm going to go in making sure I catch that corner. I'm just going to remove that clip just to make sure they're all lined up and then make my first stitch through all of those layers like that. Pulling it through to the knot. My second stitch is going to come up in the middle where this gap is roughly in the middle and then the third stitch is going to go a little bit past this corner making sure you catch all the layers that's our third stitch our fourth stitch Coming back up through the bottom, our fifth stitch going through and catching that corner, and then I'm just going to keep this pinched with my thumb and finger, move this pin, set it aside, and our sixth stitch is going to come up through that last corner like that. So it looks like this at the front and then I'm going to pull in this pinch and then once I'm happy that's nice and tight I'm going to go in through that last edge don't pull it completely tight. I'm going to go through that little loop a couple of times to form a knot to hold that pinch all in place and then trim off the thread. And that is the first half done. We're going to repeat that exact same six stitches on the other half now. So I'm just going to pop a knot 
in the end and use up the rest of that thread. Trim off that tail end. And repeat those stitches. Now we've got our two halves ready, we can join them together in the centre. So I'm just going to use my hot glue and run that along the centre and join those middles up. So we've got this now. And now we're ready to add our clip and wrap our centre. We'll just pop this one there so you can see the one that we did before. So I've cut a strip off here off of my matching ribbon because I don't have a one centimetre wide in this colour to match. And this I use to line my clip. I'm just going to heat seal around the raw edge. And this is cut to 11 centimetres in length and this will wrap my 45 millimetre double prong clip. So I'm just going to pop some glue at around two inches. And then place it on the underside of my clip, just on the first sort of centimetre and a half. Push it in the pinch bit over the top. And then finishing off with that last bit. I'm not going to bother putting any glue here because it's an open prong clip. So just by putting glue on one half, that will stick both sides together. So I've got a nice ribbon lined clip to match my bow. I'm going to place a bit more glue just along this part, keeping the pinch part free. I'm going to place that on the underside of my bow. I like to keep the pinch part free. So I can still open my clip using just the clip and not flattening my loops, although it don't matter too much because you can pinch this bow without flattening it too much. But I do like to keep that part free as just a habit. So this is what we've got now. And then for the centre, I've cut a strip off five centimetres in length. And I'm going to make a Z fold in the top so grabbing both ends pushing one one way and one the other to make like this Z shape and then bring them together using the lighter it's going to melt the end of the ribbon and give it a pinch and that will just hold that end together like that and then flipping it over do the exact same on the opposite end so Push one end one way and one the other to make that Z shape. Bond the end together to hold it in place. And then when you pull the ribbon, you get that nice twisted look like this one in the centre. Now this one I did fold the sides in a little bit. I'll show you how I did that. So I'm just going to place a little dab of glue along that join. Pull this tight and slightly curl in the edges and place it over the join. And then I've got just enough to finish it off by gluing it under the clip. So I'm going to place some glue a little bit on each of these ends. Open the clip and stick both of these sides down under the clip. And 
and just give it a little reshape if needed. I like to, you can sort of roll your fingers to make this nice sort of pocket. I like that sort of swirly look on that pattern side. Isn't that beautiful? It makes such a pretty bow shape and it's so simple. And it looks beautiful in both patterned and plain ribbons. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. If you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.